Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, 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 it is time to say goodbye to Joe Biden, apparently. Now, we don't know what the outcome is going to be, but from the looks of things, uh, he's losing a lot of support and he's losing it fast. Black Democrats are bailing on bedtime Biden and joining Republicans. From the looks of things, some are saying he has already lost. If they have anything to do with it, he's already lost. I want you all to take a look at a video clip that shows some people very, very upset. Black people. And uh, some other groups are in there as well. But they're very upset. They're like, look, we're done with you, man. We're done. You are finished. Take a look at this video clip. And of course, you know, I will be right back in Chicago are threatening to ruin the party. This is about our people demanding the resources just as you've given these people. These newcomers who are walking into this country. How do you take a new group of people that have paid no taxes, can't vote, and you put them in front of the voters? We're going to show you how, how we feel about the Democratic National Convention. Turn it up. Thank you. If you think you're going to have a peaceful Democratic National Convention in the city of Chicago while our people starve it, that's right. stay tuned. The Republican Party isn't responsible for persuading black Americans to see the truth. We're not that effective. The Biden administration's complete failure did it. And you know what happens when someone you love lets you down? It hurts that much more. We are done with the Democrats. that President Biden has lost the 2024 election. We are not powerless as American Muslims. We are powerful. We don't only have the money, but we have the actual votes. And we will use that vote to save this nation from itself. I'm here to tell you, Mr. Biden, that on behalf of the Michigan Muslim community, we will not be voting for you either in the primary or in the general election. I will work day and night to ensure that those voters abandon Biden this election. Abandoned Biden? All over the country. Muslim Americans are chanting, Genocide Joe! Genocide Joe! Blood red paint splattered all over the White House. It was just weeks ago, young Democrats were assaulting the DNC headquarters. Remember these young voters? They were Bernie bros and they held their nose and voted for Biden. But Biden broke the deal never paid off their student loans, destroyed the dollar, and got us roped into two proxy wars. You're going to see a number of angry factions converge on Chicago during the Democratic National Convention this summer, at a time when Biden's nomination isn't a sure thing. Can you imagine the superdelegates screwing around and nominating a white male San Francisco liberal Gavin Newsom in a smoke-filled room while Kamala Harris paces frantically outside? Too bad they defunded the police because they're going to need them at the convention. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to give y'all my honest take on this. And, and I stand behind what I say. I've been saying the same thing for years. Democrat, Republican, same thing. Never in the history of this country has this system, Republican or Democrat, done anything to improve the situation of so-called black people. Statistics have shown that black people have not only not progressed, but they have stayed stagnant or are even worse off compared to other groups. 
And so it pains me to see our people so hyped up about whether or not it's going to be Biden or some Republican in office, especially when our situations don't change. Our neighborhoods, if you look at uh, certain black neighborhoods, uh, let's say, let's go back 30 years. Instead of them improving in 30 years, many of them have gone completely down the tank, down, flushed down the toilet. They've gone from bad to worse. It didn't matter whether it was a Republican or a Democrat in there. Now, I understand why people are up in arms over this dude on the screen here because he has done absolutely nothing for the black community and in my opinion, for the country, period. It's the same thing if you go Republican or Democrat, either or. I feel like they are in office for the improvement of rich people. Now, some people are starting to see that. They're starting to see one way or another that uh, with Republican or Democrat in office, regardless of whether you're black or white, that they are more in favor of rich people. A lot of people are starting to come to that conclusion because that is what's happening. But some people are still battling back and forth, trying to determine who's best for them, Democrats or Republicans, Democrats or Republicans. But specifically for the black community, no one can really point to any real time that either has been good for us. We'll point at things like, oh, this one um, voted down um, homosexuality. Okay, so that's something that affects people of all racial groups. What does that have to do with the advancement of black people though, right? No one can point to anything from Republicans or Democrats over the past four or 500 years that have been used to advance black people see the thing is we've settled for crumbs so we're like if anybody could just toss us some crumbs we'll vote for you notice the, the some of the people screaming uh call the republicans snakes they'd rather um take their vote away from biden and give it to a snake why make such an admission i've maintained that our trust and our faith should always just simply stay with the most high period across the board because i've stated this before as well that republican or democrat biden or trump or desantis or whoever is in office none of them can stop biblical prophecy that is what it boils down to it sounds like one of the ladies said something about we can change something. And I said to myself, the only thing you can change is your life, your heart, because biblical prophecy is going to happen regardless to who is in office. You can hire Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck if you want to. Biblical prophecy will remain the same. Or should I say elect? You can even elect Fred Flintstone or Barney Rubble. Nothing and nobody is going to change biblical prophecy. You can even stuff Papa Smurf in office and call him the president. No one, nothing will change biblical prophecy. This world is headed downward regardless to what policies any president, Republican or Democrat, put in place. But I still like to say this, goodbye, Joe Biden. Arriva Darci. I'm out, y'all. Chop it up in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.